regarding yeah today today concept is very very important concept that is detailed java today concept is detailed java detail java first definition variable what do you mean by variable do you know anything what do you mean by variable mamad do you know anything about variable variable is a like a very um, all the number various name or number like that yeah i will tell you variable is nothing but it is a name it is a name variable is nothing but it is a name given to a one memory location given to a one memory location it is a name given to a one memory location which can hold the value which can hold the value which can hold the which can hold the value that value will be changed in future number of times so that uh, value that value will be changed that value will be changed in number of times that is variable variable is nothing but it is a name it is a name it is a name given to a one memory location given to a one memory location it is a name given to a one memory location this is the memory location and giving name is a which can hold the value oh, it can hold the value that value will be changed in future number of times wherever you want to whenever you want to, you can change the values we can change the value so that is variable what is the use of advantages of variable what are the advantages of variable one is reusability one is reusability second one easy to update and easy to maintain easy to maintain these are the main advantages of variables variable is nothing but it is a name given to a one memory location which can hold a value that value will be changed in future number of times that value will be changed in future number of times what are the advantages of variables reusability easy to update easy to maintain and variable syntax next variable syntax data type variable syntax data type variable name equal to value so simply we can say int data type int variable a equal to 10 simply we can write it okay int a equal to 10 data type variable name equal to value this is variable definition and syntax and advantages next constant next definition constant what do you mean by constant it is a name same definition it is a it is a name given to a one memory location given to a one memory location it is a name given to our memory location which can hold our value which can hold our value which can hold our value that value that value will not change in future that value will not change in future will not change in future so this is constant constant is nothing but it is a name given to a one memory location which can hold a value that value will not change in future so if it is constant if it is variable value will be changed regularly so if it is constant value will not change so simply we can say it is a name 
given to our memory location which can hold our value that value will not change that value will not change so okay. what are the syntax so i'm writing syntax now final data type constant name equal to value simply we can say final into a equal to 10 okay simple if it is having final that is constant without final that is variable got it if it is final then that is constant without if i write into a equal to 10 that is called variable you need to remember this is very very important question what is the main difference between variable and constant if it is constant compulsory it will start with final okay that is the main difference between constant and variables next concept variables next concept to variables next concept to variables There are two types of variables. One is local variables. So second one is global variables. One is local variables. So second one is global variables. Local variables mean within the function only it will work. Behind the function it will not work. So that is called local variables. Within the function only it will work. Behind the function it will not work. That is local variables. Next, global variables further divided into four types already we discussed one is public second one is default third one is private fourth one is protected these are the access modifiers so public default private and protected what do you mean by public if you write public you can access entire project once if you write pro, uh, public you can access in entire project if it is default we can access only in the particular package <coughs> if you write private we can access only in the particular class If you write protected, you can access that particular package as well as other package child class stuff also we can access. You can access that package stuff as well as other package child class stuff also. Other packs child class stuff also. These are the access modifiers already we discussed public, default, private, protected. Next, conditional statements. Next conditional statements next concept conditional statements conditional statements in java we have three conditional statements one is if second one is if else third one is switch case There are three conditional statements available in Java. If, if else, switch case. Where exactly we will use if condition? Now we will discuss about if, where exactly we will use if condition. If it is single block or if you want to execute only one block, that time we will use if condition. If it is single block or if you want to execute only single block, that time we will use if condition. For example, if a equal to 10 no. if a equal to 10 no, at least a good boy at least a good boy so here we have only single block here we have only single block here we have only single block if you want to execute only single block or if it is only single block that time we will use if condition next where exactly we will use if else it's very very important regularly we will use this concept that is if else where exactly we will use if else you need to remember blindly if we if you want 
if you want to execute only particular block among two blocks among two blocks if you want to execute any particular block that time we will use if else among two blocks among two blocks if you want to execute any particular block that time we will use if else among two blocks if you want to execute any particular block that time we will use if else among two blocks if you want to execute any block any one no any one blocks that time we will use if else for example if a equal to 10 no akhil is a good boy else else akhil is a bad boy akhil is a bad boy so here we have two blocks one is akhil is a good boy other one is akhil is a bad boy we have two blocks so if a is equal to 10 no then it will execute akhil is a good boy if it is not equal to 10 no then it will execute akhil is a bad boy so this is if else condition next switch case statement switch case or select case switch case statement next switch case statement among many blocks 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 if you want to execute selectively some blocks choice one i'm giving i'm writing choice one so it will execute first i'm giving choice two it will execute second so selectively among many blocks if you want to execute selectively some blocks that time we will use switch case statement among many blocks among many blocks among many blocks if you want to execute selectively some blocks selectively some blocks that time we will use switch case statement switch case statement or select case statement okay among many blocks if you want to execute selectively some blocks that is two or more okay we are selectively we are selecting so that is called switch case statement among many blocks if you want to execute selectively some blocks that time we will use switch case statements all right next looping statements next to looping statements looping statements what do you mean by loop what do you mean by loop mama what do you mean by loop do you know regularly in our real life also we will use that word loop yeah I, uh, the loops is like uh, like keep on you know going like uh, you check if this statement is correct if not then uh, is going to go back again to that if, uh, if else okay i will tell you no need to worry if you want to execute a certain block of statement continuously or repeatedly then we will use looping statements where exactly we will use looping statements if you want to execute a certain block of statements continuously or repeatedly then we will use looping statements if you want to execute a certain block of statements continuously or repeatedly then we will use looping statements very very important concept here we will use three looping statements one is for loop second one is while loop third one is do while loop first one is while loop so first one is for loop second one is while loop third one is do while loop now we will discuss very very important where exactly we will use for loop this is very very important concept that is for loop where exactly we will use for loop actually regularly we will use only for loop why we will use for loop and what is the use of for loop okay i will tell you now for i'm writing here for int i equal to 0 int i equal to 0 int i equal to 0 i less than you yeah, am listening i less than 20 and i plus 1 so i start with 0 first it will execute 0 time after that i wa i value is 0 i equal to 0 next it will plus 1 so 
it will execute one time next one plus one i value is one one plus one it will execute second one two plus one next two plus one three three plus one four now where exactly we will use for loop how many fixed number of times that loop should be execute if you know that figure or number then only we can use for loop how many fixed number of times that loop should be execute if you know that figure or number then only we can use for loop you should know that number or figure how many fixed number of times that loop should be execute if you know that if you know that number or figure then only we can use for loop this is very very important friends whenever you are facing the interview also they will ask you like what are the main uh, what is the main difference between for loop and while loop or where exactly we will use for loop how many fixed number of times that loop should be execute if you know that figure or number then only we can use for loop so if you know the number then we will use for loop so 19 plus 1 it will execute 20 times so that is the use of for loop okay how many fixed number of times perfectly if you know the figure if you know this number then only we can use for loop all right next while loop where exactly we will use while loop as long as condition being satisfied here is no restrictions like the like for loop as long as condition being satisfied as long as condition being satisfied it will execute to up to satisfy the condition next this while loop is called entry level condition this while loop is called we can call entry level condition also we can call entry level condition next do while just similar to while do while just similar to while first of all without checking the condition it will execute first time without checking the condition it will execute second time onwards it will check the condition second time onwards it will check the condition so this is this loop is called first time without checking the condition it will execute second time onwards it will check the condition this do while loop we can say exit level condition this do while we can say exit level condition okay if it is while while we can say entry level condition do while we can say exit level condition so these are the very very important looping statements in java for loop while loop do while loop next arrays hello